sorry. Sorry? I, yeah. You're not sorry, you stupid. How could you do, how could you do this, Peter? How could I not? Well, you think that's funny? That's not funny. <sighs> Peter, you, you're sad, you're desperate, you're embarrassing, but you're certainly not... Why? Why now? Come on, what brought it on? You're upsetting Simon. Oh, really? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sure that his dad's standing there, three sheets to the wind has got nothing to do with it. So I go to your room, please. Why should I? Oh, so you care about him, but not about me? I've said I'm sorry, all right? What oh, more do you, you want me to say? Oh, you can't say you're sorry when you're dead, what? can you? Well, you obviously want to kill yourself. Oh. Oh, Simon, I'm and you're sorry. you little Miss Perfect. Don't you dare call me a hypocrite. Not like you've never been drunk. Don't give me that. <sighs> I have a problem with my yes. drink. Peter, but you're yes. a flaming alky. One leads to ten, leads to you getting run over by a bus and me standing by your graveside. I can't have that. I can't have that. Listen, love. Oh, listen. get your hands <laughs> off me. <gasps> OK. So, you answer me this. I can't help myself. You can help yourself, Peter, to every flaming optic in Manchester. Was this a one-off? When? I, I, I kind of had a... sort of a drink about two weeks ago. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Why? Why? Oh, it is brilliant, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's so funny. We've recorded the last one. Have you not seen it? We love it. It's basically, it's a load of people sat around watching Tell 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 it's it's what you come out it's with. It's what we'd all come out and with. And it's such a cross section of people. <laughs> 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 oh, it's got to be the one who has to drink now. Yeah, see, I like the posh couple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> chin, chin. <laughs> you all right? What's it to you? I'm just trying to be friendly. Anyway, I don't know how it feels to be betrayed. Yeah, well, you've got Eva now, haven't you? I'm sure that she keeps you warm at night. Look on it as lucky escape, Jason. Ball scratchings or...? Are you not talking to me? You won't answer my question. Right, then. No, 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 no. Well, no, if you're not talking to me... This is not a petty squabble, Peter. We are not kids in a playground. Where are you going? I heard what you said. He's gonna die. No, no, Sight. She didn't really mean it like that. What you like when you're drinking? You fall asleep and you set fire to the flat and I'm going home. You see? Now look what you've done. This, this is my fault. Where are you going? You are not going anywhere. The thing about history, the interesting thing... Is there one? ..is that we are all living and breathing it right now. Oh, right, so you're saying I'm old. Ancient. Now, in as much as that we all could be in tomorrow's history books. Right. What, in a chapter marked? Yesterday down the pub. <laughs> well, history's not just about big posh kings and big old queens. <laughs> I beg your very pardon. It's about you and me, the little people. All right, so first of all, you're saying I'm old, and now you're saying I'm small? Oh, there's just no winning, Mr. Fane. <laughs> all righty. All right. Hello, Steve. Hello. Bottle of beer, please, love. I'm going to get up close and personal with a jukebox. <laughs> She's a bit perky, isn't she? I take it uh, you two have made up now, then? Uh, we have indeed. Mm, is that the uh, whiff of reconciliation I can spell in the air? No, no, it's his beer. <laughs> Hasn't he gone all poetical since he started college, Sean? I know, I keep thinking it's Pam Ayres. <laughs> no, life is good. So good, in fact. Are you going to serve him? Cause... Well, you're talking to him. Well, <laughs> so good, in fact. We're planning a little weekend away. Anyway, nice. Uh, no, Eileen. They thought they'd go somewhere really horrible. <laughs> so where are you going? Leeds, actually. Ooh, glam, glam, glam. No, Northern Soul weekend, huh? Ah, nice one, man. Oh, congratulations. Cheers, mate. Eh? You're probably more of a Rod Stewart kind of girl, aren't you? 
No, I like the Northern Soul. The Northern Soul. It's not a type of fish, Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> Get the drinks in. Hey. Well, it's a New Zealand custom, isn't it? Them that's celebrating foots the bill. We're not in New Zealand. Well, somebody is somewhere, and I just think we should respect them. Hey. Hey, why isn't he at yours? It's Peter. What's happened? Uh, Beth, can you just take them? Hey, hey, what's happened? He's drunk. Oh, he isn't. He is. Please don't have a go at me, Leanne. I've got to live with him. I don't know what to do. Right, well, let's sit down. Let's go over there. Come on, let's go over there sit down. We'll get there. At least we've got a feeling off our backs. I'm not afraid of hard work. No, I've been in labour, me. Gross! <laughs> and I don't care where I work, look. If I've got clean toilets and scrub floors, doesn't matter. Money's money, isn't it? Good for you. Well, I can do a paper round. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure it's come to that yet, Faye. That's a lovely thought, though. Come on, love. Yours will go cold. Oh, uh, no. I, um, I was picking while I was cooking it. I hope you're not sickening for something. No, I'm fine. Who's Nick Tyler Great? You. <laughs> you, my daughter. <laughs> Did you say what brought it on? That's obvious. It's me, isn't it? I better get back to him. Don't blame yourself, Carla. It's part of him. It's what he does. Yeah, it's an illness. It's a personality flaw. Call it what you like. I can't help feeling I've contributed somehow. Oh, I remember that feeling. I don't envy you. It's never going to get any easier, you know. Not today, not tomorrow. When does it end? doesn't, does it? Well, you know where I am if... Well, you know. OK, Tom, listen. Sai, I'm really sorry. OK, your dad loves you. You know that, don't you? It's all right, babe. Oh, Carl has not replied to any of my texts. Still? Mm. Have you heard anything from Marcus? Mm. Maria's giving me daggers over there. Just ignore her. So, you must be a bit. About what? Marcus. No, I can tell. I've got the third eye. Well, happen he need glasses on it. Dark seems less real. <gasps> you prefer it on ice with a twist, or with mess? Even less real then for your love, innit? You promised that every step of the way of this pregnancy you'd be by my side, so what's... what's changed? Peter. Are you scared of having this baby? Peter? Peter, are you scared of having this baby? Maybe. And maybe I'm sick of this perfect husband routine that I have to... It just makes me want to run a mile. Put me under so much pressure. So it's my fault. You wanted me to be honest. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But not to play the blame card, because, you know, if we're talking blame, I can always get you the mirror from the bathroom and you can have a right good look at it. Right. What are you doing? What are you doing? What am I doing? Well, there's some white wine vinegar here. I mean, I wouldn't want you to get tempted. You know, I mean, I've heard of wetting the baby's head, Peter, but this is ridiculous. Chocolate liqueurs. <sighs> Who the flaming egg buys an alky? Chocolate liqueurs. Don't worry, even I wouldn't touch them. No, no, Peter, you've made it quite clear. You just can't help yourself. You know, 
what really gets to me. I give you every opportunity to say, no, we are not having this baby. I didn't want to bully you into a lifetime of regret. But you said you wanted this every bit as much as I did, more. More fool me for believing you. Missing car. I've just been to the cash point. I'm really worried about her. Are you? Yeah, is that worry she dragged me away from my place of work? This is serious, Steve. Peter's gone AWOL, and she's gone to ground. I've text, called nothing. Well, that's not like her, is it? I think you're overreacting. Well, the light's on. Are you coming with us? Well, she might not answer the door. It's one way of finding out, isn't there? I'm really grateful for what you did. Thanks to you, Gary, well, he's here. And Jake's going to grow up knowing his dad. I know you probably don't think it's much, you know, going to see Phelan's wife, but what did you say to her? Nothing. Well, whatever it is you said or did to get this family together. I'm going to go and feed Jake. There's good news and there's bad news. Have you heard from him? Yeah, he's, he's back. He's in the shower. Oh, well, thank God for that. Well, right, there you go. And the bad news? He's drunk. You joking? And it's not the first time, neither. Carla. I know. Can you believe that? Um. Well, I can actually, uh... I... kind of knew. You what? Um, that night in Liverpool, it wasn't me that got drunk, it was him. I'm sorry. And you covered for him? Nice one, Steve. Are you really that thick? You know how bad he can get and you just let him get on with it. Thank you, Steve. My old life falls apart and nobody bothers to even tell me. You knew all this time. Don't have a go with me. You all make mistakes. <sighs> See you later. Should we go for one of the beef traps? No. I haven't done anything wrong. He's going now, anyway. Will you stop eyeing me up, Maria? This one's not for turning. Just leave it, Todd. Whatever. You all right? Fine. Maria! Oi! Come back here, you. What do you want? I want an apology. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah? And I want a break from your whinging grid. Maria, are you all right? No, I'm not. Because I'm sick of him playing his mind games. Eileen! Sean! What are you calling them for? It's her who's deranged, not me. Well, they need to know what you like, don't they? They know what I'm like. It's you showing yourself up, love. You have ruined my life! Your boyfriend was gay! He loved me! Yeah, well, he loved me once upon a time in all, Maria. Yeah, and you loved me, Maria, but things changed. Oh, I never loved you. I just put up with you. Oh, well, maybe Marcus was doing the same with you, no? Oh, Maria, you need to try and calm down. Yeah, Maria, come on, let's get oh, you Oh, get off me, Fizz! You knew all along and never told me. Hey, come on, let's get you up. You want to know something, darling? I'm not your darling. When he slept with you... I'm not anyone's darling. He closed his I'm eyes... Made sure of that. ...and he thought of me. You want locking up, love? Everyone says you're as thick as gravy and you must be right if you thought Marcus was a keeper. He loved me! You know what? It's a strange combination looking at you. Yeah. Because you're pretty, you're vapid and you're desperate. <laughs> oh! Oh! Tyro, take her home. You drunk? No, I am not drunk. Ty, I mean it. I'll call the police. You know I will. Maria, that's assault. Yeah. I hope your mobile phone's broken. Have I missed something? Uh, just don't start, Tracy. Oh, you spoiled sport. Let's put something on there. Come on, let's go. Well, let's get you off. Oh, here's your Pessy. I haven't got words for you. Yeah, go on, have a good look. The freak show. 21st century Alki. 10 a touch. You're not funny, Peter. So, what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? 
Mob handed. Is it a social call? Or... Can't blame us for being angry. Actually, do you know what? This has got nothing to do with oh, you. Oh, yes, it is. When you're putting my best mate through hell. She's my sister. I'm sorry, mate. It all just. Uh, don't apologise to him. Do you know what? I could do without your condemnation right now. I'm surprised you can even pronounce it. Okay. So, really, thanks for the council award, but do you know what? It's D-Day, you can all go home. Do you think I'm gonna leave her alone with you in this state? Oh, it's not like I haven't been here before. No, this is a merry-go-round that's our life, innit, love? Don't speak hey? to her like that! I've asked you to leave politely, right? Next time, I'm not gonna be so nice. Hey! <laughs> Come on, honestly, I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise, I'll be fine. It just... Thanks for coming round. Yeah, it's been a blast. Oh, just shut up, Peter! Oh! even said why. Pressure? <laughs> Pressure? On him? To do what? To be a good husband, a kid, who knows? <laughs> oh. My heart bleeds for him. He doesn't even know he's born. Yeah, well, speaking of the unborn, it... Oh, I don't matter. I... I've got to speak to him, do you mind? You're going to be all right. All right, well, stay strong, all right? Mm -hmm. Just going to the cash point. You've been gone ages. Don't start. Oh, cheer up, lads. It may never happen. Just did. Hey, Steve. I want a word with you. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Somebody's in trouble. Thanks to your Peter. Oh no, what's he done now? Well, he started drinking again, hasn't he? Oh, poor Peter. Don't, don't wish your sympathy on that loser. Yeah, Rob, who happens to be my brother. Oh, you... oh, I need a drink. Double standards, anyone? Right. Well, thanks for the seat. Come here, man. What? You remember what I said? See you, love. See you. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Granddad. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you, love. Take it easy. Upstairs, eh? On the laptop. I suppose. No, well, go on. Don't wait, Joseph. I'll probably open a bit, yeah? Uh, uh. I know this has nearly killed you. <laughs> Making sacrifices for that idiot, humiliating yourself, but <laughs> Dad, it's over now. It's over. Oh, it's all about Saint Owen, isn't it, eh? And his poor dented macho pride. Ah. I'm only trying to. No, K Katie, I'll tell you what, why don't you go and watch it upstairs, love? In your own time, Katie. Anna. Hello. Where did that come from? I'm just knackered. I've been on my feet all day. I'm just done, you know, in oh, that stuff. Sweetheart, come here. Hey. Good to see you, Joseph. Hello, love. Anna. Played right into his hands there. He could press charges now. You know, a year ago, my life was perfect. Now look at it, it's a complete mess. Perfect. Was it really? Well, it felt it. Living with a bloke that fancied fellas. Sorry, I just... <sighs> Come here. You'll be all right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that because it is. It is. A... Go on, you better go. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna go to bed now. Go on, you should go. You got a good one there in your face. Yeah, I have. Tyrone. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologise to me. Oh, no, but you shouldn't have had to look after me like this. 
That's what friends are for, isn't it? I'll see you later. See ya. What's up? You know Rob's gonna dine out on this for weeks, don't you? You know that. Hmm. Good. I want everyone to know. Might take an advert out in the Gazette Alcoholic. Please don't serve. It might be worth a shot. So that then if you walk into any pub or offy or supermarket round here or anywhere, they'll know not to serve you. Look at me. Peter, this is important. You better stay on that wagon. And I mean cling on for dear life. Because I need you. This baby needs you and I have no intention of being a single parent. Do you hear me? I, I do, yeah. You drink again, and we won't be having a baby. More celebrity mums and dads are quaking in their boots waiting to find out what their kids are about to reveal in Big Star's Little Star next. Then a shocking case that leads DS Ronnie Brooks and the team to investigate a wealthy family. But how are they involved? In Law & Order UK at 9. <laughs>